welcome to movie week number two movie week number one movie week number one episode two um the rock thing is this today uh this uh it's the i didn't know where the clothes are got a new YouTube channel so I've got a new a new YouTube channel now. Uh it does I do. Um Alex Alex you're a bright young brother. What are your two sons? That's Are we on Tatooine or something? Alex Boss please. Bandit confirmed. Transaction complete. Weird Oh, that's so bizarre! I'm like a Postmates delivery boy. Except everything is automated. It's like... Because this is what's interesting. Because right now we have stuff like the Google Home and the Amazon Alexa and everything. And you can order stuff through them and just get your Alexa to order you stuff and get it sent to your house without ever having to, like, click on stuff yourself. And that's basically what this is, but in a personified, like, human body form. And I never thought to think of it like that, because it's even a case of when I tell Alexa to, like, turn off the lights, or Alexa to play music or something, I feel bad not saying please or thank you sometimes, even though it's just a piece of software and it doesn't have feelings or anything, but that's the thing. Would you actually be like that if you met robots or androids like that that had faces? And the more used to, you, the more used to the androids you get, and seeing their faces around and knowing that they don't have emotions, that starts to suck the actual humanity out of people. And I think that that's going to be a really interesting thing in the game, to see how people react, because... The more androids you see around the place that you don't have to be courteous to because they don't have feelings to get upset, the more you'll start treating other actual humans like that. Oh, there's just camera angles, that's cool. Nice. And it was the same, like, as the dude was running after the guy jogging and he gave him his water, he just, like, threw the water back to him and kept running, because technically he doesn't have to be nice to the robot, because it doesn't have feelings or anything like that. It's not going to get upset if he's not. It's there doing a service. But I don't know if I could do that, because, I don't know, I empathize with things too easily. It's interesting. And it's something that's kind of not completely outside the realm of reality. This game is very pretty. Wait, where am I going? Take bus home. Okay. Android temporary parking. Oh, that's what they were doing in the little cutscene. That's weird. Everything's weird. Don't need an android. Need money for food. Huh. You can eat the android. Oh, now I have to walk past the protest. I'm assuming they're not going to like me. When do we want it? Why do we want it? Oh, shit, it's Jake Gyllenhaal. What's it going, Tim Can? Hmm? Hey, guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. Steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can stand up. Jesus. You job stealer. You job stealer. I mean, he already, there was already an android police officer over there. And that is a, a weird thing to think about as well. What if, what if
what if the androids were the police force? How stringent would they be on rules, and who do they determine is doing wrong and right and all that kind of stuff? Because we also, I did a little, um, I did a little quiz thing a while ago on smart cars and AI in smart cars and who it would save if it was going down a highway and stuff was in front of it. Anyone here? Oh, no entry for purchased androids. So this, this game's a lot like um, iRobot. I wonder if Will Smith is going to show up. Is this the thing? Yeah. Kind of creepy looking. Oh, God, the androids are segregated. My mind immediately goes to, because recently I watched, um, on a flight on the way home, I watched Hidden Figures, the movie, about the women working in NASA and trying to get equal rights and trying to show that they can do the work as well and everything. Fantastic movie. I love that movie. I would highly recommend it. But it reminded me of that because in the movie, there was segregated areas for, like, colored bathrooms and colored areas that only colored people could work in. And that's basically what this is kind of like is that the the androids and the humans don't get along so that's what i'm saying it's, it's almost like a racial topic it's like we, we've gone a certain degree with equal rights um still a long way to go in humanity in general these days but then you go further and then you bring in these androids and it's almost like you regress as you progress kind of thing so these types of topics are what's really interesting to me and i'm always curious how video games handle them and how media handles them and everything because it's just a i know it's a, it's a fascinating topic to get into and it's an important discussion to kind of bring up um and all this ai stuff and everything is something that's going to happen in the future and then like in this i'm assuming there's going to be a section where we talk about like android rights things like that so that, that'll be interesting to see um oh what did i what did i miss out on oh bummer I got most stuff, though. That's important. Oh, now we're back to Kara. Kara's in the car. Pretty sure this is where Pennywise lives. and everything to go around your house and vacuum and all that. 
but it's weird to think to have an actual, like, fully grown human AI android to do the cleaning around the house. Because, like, you can, you can hire people to come clean your house and all that kind of stuff, obviously, in reality. But when you have an android doing it, you don't really have to be nice to it. What are you doing? Oh, God, are you blazing? What the hell is that? Oh my god! What the hell is that? Oh. Oh. Todd's over here getting his soul sucked out by a dementor! Hey, I'm gonna check the backyard. Hello, little Roomba friend. Father of the Year should go to Todd. Take down laundry, okay. Wonder if the machinery out there is all automated as well. I think like he's jerking off. Find around here. The price of life. When it's to do eventually as the car is barreling down the street. Oh, you don't even have to press a button. And now to sports. Ah, sports boo. Oh, cartoons. <laughs> like Kubo? That's kind of cool. US economy in October. According to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment... 37 and a half percent unemployment. That's crazy. Wow, really living the life here, Todd. Bottles of shit everywhere. Though I guess your living habits reflect who you actually are as a person. Human garbage. This place looks way nicer now, though. You're welcome. Ventilation. Oh, God. I hit my mic with the controller. Anything else? Oh. What is that? Is a nudie magazine? There's stuff from a bank there, I think. Alright, anything else left? Just that book again. Watch it. Ugh. Push him downstairs. Do it. I know you can't hurt human life. It's probably in your coding and everything. I think we make an exception for Todd. You even have to go in and clean all your shit stains. There's no brush big enough for you, Todd. Clean that. Okie dokie. Arranged bottles. What? I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and... Android! Oh, these bottles. Left to unlock. Of course. Have to ask Todd for new instructions. I'm back, Toto. What are you doing? Oh no. Uh, I'm playing. Slaving. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life. Mm. 
Mm, don't do it, Todd. Fucking loser. Mm -mm. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! No, don't, no, oh, don't you fucking hey. dare, you piece of shit. Hey, hey. Tour. We went to the zoo. I love giraffes. They're so cute. Giraffes, hippos, elephants. Anything else to look at? Pia, 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 no, pia, no, pia, no. Oh. Da, 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 da. I'm supposed to be waking up Carol upstairs, and I'm just walking around his entire house. Even about the possibility of animal androids. No, that means there's some, like, android puppies going around. I don't want to think about that. Oh, that's, that's the creepiest thing so far. Ooh, slidey door. Oh god, the camera. Oh, uh, food! Big old pot of coffee. Oh, I shouldn't have picked this up. Oh, I have to take it to the dining table. I thought I was stuck with it. My God, this is a fancy house. Oh, I can't really play on my own. Carol! Is this your TV? Dude, this place is dope. You've even got a giraffe in your house. Blocking the steps, but... 
Where do you want to go, Marcus? Where does your heart want to flutter free? Oh, hey. Ha <laughs> ha. Cute. I just saw a giraffe recently. Before we went on tour, we went to the zoo. I love giraffes. They're so cute. Giraffes, hippos, elephants. Anything else to look at? Pia, 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 no, pia, no, pia, no. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Hell! I'm supposed to be waking up Carol upstairs, and I'm just walking around his entire house. And he goes like this in two minutes, five minutes. He goes like this. Wee! Perfect sense why I got paint. He's an artist. Oh, wait, there was something else to do at this table. Clean. Frickin' Carl, keeping the place all dirty. Who does he think he is? This house is awesome. Something new. Good morning, Carl. <laughs> Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. This sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I know that actor, dude. I have to go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Can't remember who his name, what his name is, but. Oh yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. I must be an elephant. Also, I'm not too keen on my camera and my. Like, I wanted to move the camera left, but you can't because you have to take the thing. That kind of thing. I'm not too keen on it both being the same button. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Carol, I don't got nothing to do. I did it all. This is such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort. Keep them going. Hmm. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. <laughs> they think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. He has a really cool voice. The Carol dude. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. I guess I like it. They didn't hurt you, did they? Very deep, gruff voice. I like it. Also, in this sense, androids are really nice. Mine is really like high. If old people had someone there to take care of them, that doesn't get like stressed out or exhausted or go through emotional distress. Yeah. That they, old people don't have to feel embarrassed going to the bathroom in front of. That's really nice. Oh no, oh no, oh yeah. Especially if they have someone there to talk to and listen to and just regale stories to and someone who's not going to get bored of it. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Oh. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. 
We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. No. Wee! Wee! <laughs> <laughs> No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. Who's Leo? <laughs> Imagine if your android just started doing this. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Wee! Oh, Wee! We have one here. I made your breakfast. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just oh, the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. Mm. You're welcome. Oh, imagine an android cooking you food. The food would be perfect every time. Oh, and they'd make you such good stuff, and you wouldn't have to cook it yourself. Spending so much time getting it wrong. Magnifique television. Good dirty bean water. Oh, mine's all gone. Mine's empty. I want some dirty beans. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Okay, Carl. Hmm. What could we do? Can we play piano again? That's a cool TV. Find something to do. Piano, book. Oh, some over here. Ooh, let's play chess. That's a weird chess set. Uh, wait. It allowed me to look at it, and it unlocked one of them. So I want to see what other options 